are expecting some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon around southern Colorado, but nowhere near the intensity of what we saw yesterday around the region. Eads is one of those places that saw a tornado in your neighborhood just off to your southeast. We have some very dramatic pictures that we were showing you yesterday evening of the tornado in the Eads area. Temperatures are sitting in the 20s and 30s now as we see a gusty northerly wind. That's why that flag was really blowing around that you saw there towards the bottom left-hand side of your screen. By the time we finish it off, places in the plains like Eads are going to be sitting in the mid-top or 50s. 57 at La Junta, 58 will be your high today in Lamar, 59 in Springfield. Temperatures, meanwhile, in the high country will be sitting in the 30s and 40s. And along the I-25 corridor, the spring stops out at 47. It'll be 54 in Pueblo, 53 your high today in Canyon City, 43 up in Denver. Not exactly warm as you head up to the Mile High City. Skyscan satellite and radar. Easy to pick out the low pressure center, isn't it? You can see the counterclockwise circulation of it in northeastern Colorado, southwestern Nebraska. And it has a front which extends from it, which has helped to drive our temperatures down on the backside of our low. Lots of cool air equals chances for snow as we go into the high country later on this morning and this afternoon. And you can see the influence of that low with our temperatures all the way down into the lower 30s here in the springs at 33. Only 45 in Albuquerque, pretty cool for this time of the year. 39 in North Platte, 30 in Casper, 53 up at Seattle, 46 in Reno, 59 currently in Las Vegas, 63 in Phoenix. There's your low, and the backside with that front that's swung its way through the region is the reason that we are seeing such cool air with high pressure combined to give us a fairly gusty wind out of the north and northwest as we go through this afternoon. South of the warm front, of course, heavy showers and thunderstorms are possible. And we'll take off that low, and we'll take off those fronts and show you exactly what's going to happen over the next day and a half. If you can see that low pressure center taking off to the northeast, and that of course means that we, while we will see a little bit of snow today, by the time we're going into tomorrow, the high pressure that we showed you over Utah and Idaho takes over our weather, and so there will be a one-day break. There won't be any showers and storms as we go through our Monday morning, Monday afternoon. As we look at our seven-day forecast, high temperatures stay on the cool side, though, on Monday. It's not until Tuesday that we begin to rebound to closer to where we should be. We'll call for mid to upper 60s, beginning Tuesday and lasting through the rest of the week. Wednesday and Thursday, we'll call for a chance for some showers and storms, just like we'll see on Tuesday. Temperatures in general are going to be at or above the normals from Tuesday all the way through at the end of the forecast in the next weekend. Pueblo, you'll be sitting in the mid to upper 50s today and tomorrow, and then it's lower to middle 70s throughout the rest of our seven day outlook. Lows go from the 30s into the mid to upper 40s. Canyon City, mid to upper 50s for you today and tomorrow, and then it's upper 60s and lower 70s throughout the rest of the forecast, and you'll see that chance for the showers and storms as well. Even in Taylor County, though, it's only 20% compared to 60% that we'll see this afternoon behind that low pressure center. 40 and 45 are highs for the next couple of days. Then it's mid to upper 50s and even some lower 60s on Thursday and Friday to help to melt some of that snow that Ooh. Zach Pagano was showing us a few minutes ago. It looks like a yeah. winter wonderland up there, doesn't it? And he it? looks cold. I feel Poor bad Zach. for sending him out there, but we Poor all got to do it sometime, well, right? He can get back in the car, I suppose, and warm up. Or He'll be okay. Go and get some breakfast, maybe. And we were saying the hail we saw yesterday, mm -hmm. the biggest one we saw, I think, was in, over in Pueblo, mm -hmm. and it was the size of an egg. Yeah, about two so, and a half inches in diameter. That's pretty big. That's pretty crazy, but we shouldn't be expecting that today, hopefully. No, even any kind of hail that does develop will be very small, and okay. we're not going to see very much of it. All right, that's good news there. All right, Jay, thanks so much.